there's lots of uh, myths uh, around vaccines and there are certain theories. So what, are, what is the current vaccination status? Let's talk a bit more about the myths surrounding them and are vaccines effective and how? Okay. So as you know, uh, I don't have to tell you this, vaccines have been with us for hundreds of years. The first vaccine was against the smallpox, okay. Um, if you get infected with coronavirus, then your body fights it if you live and it remembers it. But when I say remember, okay, it keeps the memory inside the body cells. And if next time you get the virus, it's ready with a big armamentarium, a big force to kill it. So that's called natural immunity, which we develop to many infections as we live. Now, what is a vaccine? A vaccine does the same thing, except it does not expose you to the risk of a real virus. So, there are three types of vaccines available today. One of them are where you take the virus, you heat it up, so it becomes inactive. It, it will not harm you, but it is still got the same shape and same um, uh, coating on it. And you put that in there, that's the China vaccine. And you can also take the gene of the vaccine, but I don't want to go into detail, okay? So, or you can take a part of the virus and you put in your body, and the body will remember the shape of this uh, part. So next time when the whole virus comes, it will know what to do with it. But there's a new kind of vaccine that was approved for the first time uh, in the history. It was called the RNA vaccines. RNA vaccines have nothing to do with the virus at all whatsoever, so there's no risk. It is merely a coding. Coding means it's less Look at this face, like a printing press plate that you're putting in the body to make a protein which is found on the surface of the virus. So now body see the protein, it gobbles it. This protein cannot harm, so there's no side effects. <clears throat> but it keeps in the memory. So next time when you get the real virus, it already has the bullets available to kill it. Okay. This is one of the most uh, effective vaccine ever made in the history of medicine. It's more than 95% effective. Most vaccines are approved at 50% effectiveness. Some people are questioning that it was approved so fast, okay, so it must, something must be wrong with it. Okay. So let me clarify that misconception. To test a vaccine, you have to have enough people falling into infection before you know whether it works or not. Nothing helps better than a very fast spreading infection where you can test it. So it was in a matter of weeks, we found out how effective it is. Some diseases have taken 20 years to find out if they are effective vaccines or not because the rate of infection is very low. So there's nothing in there that has been short chain or uh, has not been tested. It is completely safe vaccine. And I tell this about all the vaccines. So what is the worst thing that can happen if you take this vaccine? The worst thing is maybe nothing will happen, but it will certainly give you a chance to live, okay, if you get infected with the virus. So that is about vaccines, okay. The issue is, are they available? Are they available to right people? Our children should also take the vaccine 12 years and up. In fact, in the last few weeks, okay, we are seeing a lot more children coming down with COVID, a lot more than they did before. And soon the age limit will be reduced to six years, okay? I think in about two to three weeks, okay? I think we need to give it to everybody. Uh, there's absolutely no harm that can be caused uh, by taking any of the vaccines, okay, regardless.